What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Alfred Avenue, and I am bringing you another College Football 25 video. Um, I'm taking a look at not the experts. Uh, I started a dynasty in College Football 25 video and kind of giving my feedback, going through what uh, I noticed, things I'm excited for in the game. And then once, obviously, the game releases, I'll be able to uh, release my own video regarding dynasty and whatnot, um, kind of do my own deep dive. Um, but I don't have early access to the game. Anyways, I'm so looking forward to seeing this video um, and giving you guys my reaction and feedback on, uh, on the dynasty mode. So sit back, relax, let's take a look at this video. I'm going to be showing one full season of Dynasty Mode and showing you a complete guide on how to recruit. Thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this early. This is on an earlier build and not part of the day one patch. I'm assuming most people will want a challenge in their first rebuild. So for I'm sure. going to be showing you what it's like controlling a one-star program. Dude, there's zero-star programs. That's cool. overall rated teams in the game. And I think it'll be a great example of what it's going to look like when you're a lower-star team. You can be a head coach in this game or an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator if you so choose. I think it's more interesting to create your own coach so that's what we're gonna yeah, do for here. sure so when choosing a coach you have to decide what is your main archetype gonna be right from the get-go you got motivator recruiter and tactician later on i'm gonna go way more in depth for a coaching abilities tier list but for this video we'll keep it light you can look at motivator as an easy way to get xp for your players over the long haul tactician is gonna give you direct ratings boost right away so if you're trying to be win now i'd probably go tactician if you're trying to develop players over the long haul go motivator Motivator, but I think what everyone is going to be choosing from the get-go is going to be recruiter, and it makes it way easier to bring in higher For overall sure. players. Yeah, definitely recruiter. Like I, I enjoy, you know, having my team play really well and things like that. But like, there's a reason I pick the bad teams. I pick the bad teams because I like going and finding the talent that I want to bring in, make the team my own, and get them to a place where they do begin to start playing better, doing better, and just being better overall, but like based on the players that I go and find. So I'm super excited to use the recruiter, um, the recruiter archetype, or uh, I think it's archetype, skill set, whatever. So that is what I'm going to be choosing for this video. Choosing your playbook is incredibly important for your team needs. Because if you run an air raid offense, you're going to need way more wide receivers than if you did a run heavy option, for example. For this one, I'm going to keep it as Kennesaw State's default at the pistol. You notice we can set the pipeline for my head coach. Because Kennesaw State is just outside of Metro Atlanta, I think it'd be smart to have that as my pipeline. Because this can directly stack with my team's pipeline already. Now you only got two options for shirts here. You got the polo, the sweater quarter zip thing. So that's what I'm going with. Kennesaw State is a brand new FBS team, so they nice. have no history here. Which is going to have the contract goals be incredibly low. Yeah, that only definitely looks a lot games. easier. So I've got a lot of breathing room here as a head coach. When you actually sign the contract your coach physically signs it that's it? cool i think is neat when we get to the coaching <laughs> abilities tree you'll notice that there is a ton of different options here like i said i'm going to be doing a coach abilities breakdown later on so stay tuned for that video don't want to overwhelm you here there's over 276 coaching abilities in this game do need some prerequisites for certain ones like talent developer you need to have two players drafted in the first round and you need to have spent 25 in recruiter and motivator and hmm. all the way at the top for ceo you need to win two national championships and spend 100 in any tree so some of these Jeez. you're not going to be even having the option to get to for quite some time for this video i'm only focusing on the recruiter recruiting tree there's a basic recruiter path and an elite recruiter one later on but to get to elite recruiter you need to sign two top five recruiting classes and spend 50 coach points in recruiter this is broken down by position so this definitely complicates the um the coaching tree aspect but it's like the rpg element that a lot of people were looking for in this game but if like you're not familiar with that you're i think people's heads are going to be spinning on like oh my god which one do i pick you know how do i how do I pick which one to do? And they're going to kind of have like choice paralysis or whatever. Uh, but I, this reminds me of the thing from Madden 24 career mode where you like go through the trees and like pick stuff for your coaches, both you and well, you, your offensive and defensive coordinators. And it's one of the things I actually like from the Madden thing, uh, career mode that they're implementing in here. Obviously I feel like this has a little bit more depth and has a little bit more impact on the, on the players on the field and the players you're going to be recruiting. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is a cool addition um, and should add a lot of depth to the game. 
group. Now, how you want to build your team is up to you, but I personally like to look at the quarterback first and build out from there. Smart people would probably go to the offensive or defensive line, especially because that's backyard baseball music. Look, it takes less time to fully scout a position. And for offensive and defensive line, this encompasses quite a few positions: left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, and obviously for the defensive that's line, all those. So you could probably get more benefit spending it over here versus at the quarterback one. But I value the quarterback position so much, so I'm gonna spend my five points right here and i'll probably use my points elsewhere once i get more the preseason is an incredibly important time for the recruiting stages the reason for this is the, game, you have the menus more look recruiting good hours to spend here than you would during so the thing that's confusing to me here uh is i remember the dynasty deep dive it looks like it looked like in the dynasty deep dive that uh one star programs would only get 350 hours so i don't know if because he has like the recruiting focus he gets 450 or if it's like zero star programs get 350 but i know the bigger programs have more like a thousand um and which he'll cover in this in a second but um but yeah I, it's weird that they have 450 a regular week because your team's not preparing for games kind of thing but you can see this up on the top right at Kennesaw State we have 450 hours to spend right now now your recruiting hours is directly tied to your team prestige so if you're a team like Georgia Ohio State Alabama those like five stars programs those schools have way more resources to use so their recruiting hours is like probably a thousand or more so that's more than double what we have to use they're going to be able to scout way more players than we will and they can go all in on a vast majority of those players at a one-star program I would urge you to be more targeted in your approach. Like in most of my recruiting classes at a one-star program, I end up with like 15 or so recruits. Like if we look at the tennis. Yeah, going for more than that is like not, not exactly the best thing. And like you could, you know, your classes used to be 25 players. Now it's 35 players. So, I mean, you're, it's going to be really hard for you to fill that as a, as a team that doesn't have as many hours. And so focusing on like, the specific needs of players you want to go for and like players that fit within like that talent structure that you currently have maybe a little bit higher and then maybe one or two of like the bigger recruits um that's definitely something that i used to do um but yeah it's it if you focus on anything more than that your points will be distributed to um too widely to actually get the players that you want and then you end up just with like bad recruits at the end of the season another thing that i like to do or like to do previously when this was like similar to the method like in 2006 was to like really pour into the players that i wanted to try and get them to sign quickly and then like come back around and get the other ones that like i might not have needed to work as hard for um uh, to to get them to sign with me saw state's team needs we definitely need some quarterbacks <laughs> it says our rating is a c minus so Dude, that that's going to be, be tough upgraded. And honestly, a lot they have of a lot of needs. Need oh my! But not God. having a fullback on roster—that's just disrespectful. So we got to change that right away. But our quarterbacks are only in the 60s, so that means our playing time for the Dude, new anyone who comes in, in is going to start. Most that's of them crazy. are going to be over 60 something overall. The first thing you'll see is a recommended tab here. This is what the game is trying to help you get players that will be easier for you to get. On the far left, you can see these little green dots. This will let you know if a player is interested at any level. So you can see I sort right here. This guy has no interest. In us yet you can also sort by the interest one will show you directly which number he's at like this three-star quarterback daniel cone we're number three on his board right now you can also see if he's a juco player or a high school player daniel cone is in high school he's got no dude if you can filter by juco in high school i'm gonna be recruiting a lot of juco guys in those first couple of years just to improve the the roster from the get um or maybe not a lot but some um because they'll be able to get that that playing time early because they are better um than the other recruits um i also like i use the filters for for a lot of different things because you can see like the stages that they're in um like they, this used to be like the percentage closed or whatever like there it was like you could see 17 percent or whatever 15 percent down to like further you know 15 sorry 25 or 75 percent whatever it was 100 percent closed um, and you could come in and like, if someone was a four star recruit towards the end of the season and they still were like in the open stage because no one had actually recruited them, it's an opportunity for you as a smaller school to come in and take them, which is something that I plan on doing uh, for further in the year.
no offers currently. Sorting by this is going to be really important later, which I'll show you. And then finally, you can look <laughs> at height and weight, but no longer can you look at 40 times. Yeah, that's a bummer. You can't look at all those or anything little like that. But the way I like to populate my board is by going to any state and narrowing it down from here. Because this opens it up, and you'll notice all these players that are completely grayed out. This is because they have deal breakers that we do not fit. A lot of the four and five stars in the country care about things like pro potential, championship contender, and high coach. Yeah, one of the things that I, that I like to do in, in these small programs is like, obviously the bigger players have these deal breakers that exclude you from recruiting them. But like those one or two that like allow you, it's fun to just like try and go after them to see if you can get them. Um, and to, 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 especially if, if they have like a deal breaker that you are doing well for, um, you can sometimes have a, have an early advantage towards one of their top three, um, motivators for picking a school prestige things like that as a brand new program we really are not able to fit those needs however there are some players that can slip through the cracks here like we see this five-star defensive end he cares about playing time which he's going to be way better than anyone we currently have on roster so there is a small chance we're able to sneak in here and get him i'll add arthur quick to the board just so you can take a look at him you'll notice scrolling down some players have deal breakers that we can see and some don't but noting what they have can be very important because players have three ideal things that they care about the most deal breaker being the one that they're the most passionate about overall and getting to know that information early makes it way easier to start recruiting them like for our yeah this is going to be a huge advantage in recruiting if you like notice that especially in like online dynasties like knowing they have deal breakers you'll be able to pitch towards that as well as kind of finding ones like players who have that sort of thing typically have some things like associated with them that are you know just if someone is a wants pro potential they probably have national championship aspirations as well so like being able to find those is like important um and this gives you a leg up because you have one automatically off the rip arthur quick's example we know the thing he cares about most is playing time and we have a plus in that meaning it's going to be way easier to pitch him for that but i'll explain more about that later on but if you see something over a b here for deal breaker i think there is potential that you could land this player keenan baker is an athlete but it looks like he's a scrambling quarterback and his proximity to home is a plus we have the lowest tier pipeline influence but that could still come at an advantage the only danger here is you'll look at the top schools down here the schools we'll be competing against is georgia Clemson, Alabama, Tennessee, Ohio State. Knowing this though is important too, because if they have their eyes set on these schools and none of those schools ever offer them and you offer them, even though you're not in this list of schools, you can move up that board pretty quickly. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I saw here that was a little concerning and that I have concerns for from the dynasty, like deep dive is that the pipeline, this is like the lowest tier of pipeline. Um, but like, to me, it's concerning because if you look historically, like obviously Alabama is going to get all the best players in Alabama, or at least they have a lot of influence within the state of Alabama. Um, but like during the Mike Shula era or the Mike DeBose era or the Dennis Franchoni era, where like in the late nineties or like the nineties, early two thousands, they weren't great and they weren't getting all the top talent. Now they were having more influence in that area. But like, for instance, if Kennesaw State becomes better and like is a more influential program, I would like to be able to see their pipeline um, influence become higher versus it's it's currently set um, and will never change. Um, but we'll just we'll just have to see how it works out for those small teams um, and small schools been thought about looking at keenan baker we'd probably be in trouble either way i'm still going to take a look at him and see if they ignore him because he currently has no offers daniel Cohn has already got a deal breaker on us now but that's because we've been populating our board with other quarterbacks you see daniel Cohn has playing time at higher but it dropped lower because we added these blue chip prospects ahead of him so if we wanted to really chase out Dude, all the bars look really pretty because they're like the color of the team and there's like a lot of the, a lot of the bad teams are those like pretty colors <laughs> After Daniel Cohn, we need to take these guys off the board. So you're like, what happens when I remove all these players? Suddenly, his playing time goes back to an A+. Now let's scout Daniel Cohn and see what he's looking like as a three-star player. Well, now I clicked one time and I see his 85 throw power, which is not really what I'm looking for. Scout this five-star Arthur Quick, which we do not have the quicker scout for defensive linemen. So it takes one, two, and three clicks, and we see that he's a gym for a five-star. So this guy is like a that animation. football player. But you can see how you could spend a lot of points just scouting players. Even at full scouted, you will not see the players full overall. It's on you to look at their top 10 attributes based on their so it may be better like especially for five stars and four stars not necessarily with a smaller school not necessarily to waste time scouting because you know they're going to be like a decent player 
regardless and then scout them later just to get uh some of the more influential pitches out to them before like scouting them to try and win that influence and then if you figure out that they're not you know as good you can adjust it but that'll that'll come with i think trial and error archetype to make a decision on how you feel about them as a player. I feel like this adds another layer to scouting. It's more about finding players that fit what you want to go for more than just looking for the highest overall. Put a player like Arthur Quick, yeah, he's probably going to be pretty good. My guess is he he's in the high 70s range, which is probably one of the more elite freshmen you can get. Now, one strategy you could do is you could look at, well, this guy's a five-star. Even if he's a five-star bust, that's still a four-star quality player. So that's still a good player you're getting. So you could look at the five stars and just be like, I'm going to take what I get. I don't really need to know his abilities right from the get-go. But for me, I'm a little more curious. And if we look at Arthur Same. Quick's overview, I mean, just seeing the See, teams like, look that at the are, are going to be tiers. competing that's against crazy. here, I don't think they're going to be ignoring a five-star gym like this. They have the pipelines that's that are way floor. stronger than us, but we might be able to get them just based on the playing time thing. But we'll see. I I'm still going to offer him a scholarship. He's too good of a player to not take a chance at, you know. For and sure. in the preseason, you can only scout and offer players scholarships. Now, in my experience, I have not landed a five-star player at a one-star school yet. But maybe this video is the lucky time. So what I'm going to do is try that strategy. I wonder how many other hours position. of gameplay because he's Because we're so limited on recruiting this. hours. I'm not even going to scout this right tackle and just hope he's good later. Now, if we get farther down the lucky time so what i'm gonna do is try that strategy with these other positions because we're so limited on recruiting hours i'm not even gonna scout this right tackle and just hope he's good later now if we get farther down the process and he starts to respond well then i'll scout him but i'll take any five star i can get here at Kennesaw state you could try to populate your board with a bunch of like two and three stars but i find that to be a little bit more challenging because you only have limited hours to scout right. so you're not really going to know what you're going to be getting the two stars For have sure. a lower floor i'd much rather take a chance on the higher profile go after players. the big players in first opinion, and see if they're going to come to you and then as they start rejecting you go after the smaller players you're going to get way less of them but the ones you do land are going to be game changers a little tip here max shelley Agreed. and clay zelenka they both have playing time as their deal breaker and both of them are four stars clay is the 32 ranked quarterback in the country so he's one spot higher than max shelley at 33 deal breaker goes on to clay so i already know that max is a higher overall than clay is here so i guess i could try to ignore clay but they could probably both be good players let me scout max here and see what we got so he's got 93 power he's got Damn. mobile dead eye so he's already got some good abilities yep he is indeed a gym so we knew he was a higher overall player good accuracy 85 deep is strong there's a lot of coach abilities under the tactician cool path that too. can help you with short and medium accuracy so being stronger at the deep accuracy is outrageously important <clears throat> for a player and i find the playing time deal breaker to be the easiest one for smaller programs to achieve because the for higher sure. programs typically you're gonna have much better be players, able to put those so talented players on the field on the immediately field. and you're probably asking why am i talking about here well these are the my school ratings like if you look at kennesaw state our championship D contenders in the dumpster it's as low as it can go at d minus same thing with like program tradition brand exposure we're not gonna have too many nil opportunities for you champ so the way i approach it at these small schools is only going by proximity to home playing style and playing time that's because these are different for each player you can see over here on my, the quarterbacks on my board max shelley's got an a plus grade that's because he's a quality player mm. so he's more likely to start right away we have an interesting situation with logan here though these other teams are good programs but none of them have the proximity to home pipeline tier bonus from louisville kentucky except for louisville and kentucky of course but they're lower on the board right now so i'm going to take a chance on logan here he's got some good qualities here and some good abilities Oh, we got Ooh, our first bust. bust. I mean, he does have 90 speed, 91 acceleration, so he's probably like a higher three star. He's got the option king. He he's probably... still, he's still got really good stats. Like the only bad ones, like the awareness, which is like not great for what's it? Oh, this guy's a quarterback. Falls off on the not deep great throw. For a quarterback, we don't see it in his top definitely ten a runner. here because for the different archetypes, it will show you different things. Oh, 95 throw power. This is going to be a gem. Yep, I didn't even need to click through that. Silas Marie looks like a ball player. 100 speed i have never seen that gentleman <laughs> i didn't even know that was possible in this game i thought Holy 99 moly. was the highest my jaw is on the fast. 
Who is that? He's a scrambling quarterback. That guy's Lord, crazy. I think Holy we cow. need to change our strategy here. I don't care, Max Shelley. You're a good player. We'll look at you later on. But I'm clearing off this board. <laughs> yeah, we have generational speed. You're going to the absolute top of my board. That's and we hilarious. have the A-plus proximity to That's home cool. on Keenan Baker. And he's going to have playing time, too, which will Georgia be good. Georgia is extremely high on his board. Yeah. I assume they have A-plus proximity to home, too. If they even think about getting Keenan Baker, he's going to flip over there because they're obviously... But he's like an athlete, so like they may not Keenan focus on him for quarterback. A firm one. My strategy here is just populate the board with as many talented players as I can to where they don't have a deal breaker. The reason I'm doing this and not Smart. scouting them right from the get-go is because I have limited points as a smaller school, but I can cast my net as wide as possible by just offering scholarships here, and then I'll make my first moves once the season starts, and with all these guys being four and five stars, they're probably going to be pretty good players nonetheless, even if they... And you can technically give a, I'm guessing you can like give a scholarship and then take them off the board and still have that like influence on the player later down the line. Our bus. So at my level, I'd be totally fine with a four star bust and we, we'd still be getting value there in my opinion. Of course, you can set a custom schedule. I would probably avoid scheduling the Georges of the world, especially at level one, because you're definitely going to be losing this game. But I do want to show you some of the hold field advantage effect stuff. So we'll pop into that game for two seconds and you'll get a sense of how bad we are as a team from the get go and how far we have to build up. Now that you can see we're in the regular season, our recruiting hours has dropped to 350. Oh, okay. So we have 100 left. So I in the preseason you get more recruiting points but your actual weekly throughout the season recruiting hour sorry recruiting hours uh is 350 okay i was right there that's when we did in the off season the first guy i want to check on of course is keenan baker and oh no bad news for us georgia has already offered him a scholarship the hope of getting generational speed out here is probably going to be dead. But you see, we do get some influence bonus for offering him a scholarship. Just That's two cool. ticks right there. We don't have a huge pipeline bonus for him. So only the level one. All the teams in his top eight right now. That's hilarious. The old big old Drewski like uh, logo, the, the beta thing went right over the, the pipeline thing. Now we're going to destroy us with those bonuses. Now that they've offered him a scholarship, this race is likely going to be over. But we'll, I'll keep him on the board just so you can see how it plays out. Seems Damn, like nobody's going for this three-star fullback, though. And you know I love me some fullbacks. We'll scout him just out of curiosity. Dang. And he is a gym. That's love cool. to see that. All fullbacks are gyms in my eyes. Like I said, <laughs> I've never gotten a five-star at a one-star program before. Because you can see how immediately competitive it is. Of course, he's one of the best players in the entire country, Arthur Quick. So my scholarship means a lot less to him. Only getting the one tick here versus like it doesn't even show like he's on the top player. Uh, top Six board. schools that have offered him a scholarship besides me. So Arthur Quick, I, I mean, I don't even know if it's worth me spending any more points on him because I already know I'm not going to get him. It's only 350 recruiting hours. I have to be quite selective here. Even though I know this is probably hopeless to get Keenan Baker, I still can't resist. I'm going to send the house and try as much as possible to get him because it's not often you see freaking generational yeah. speed out here. 100 100 speed 100. is crazy. 96 throw power to pair with it that just sounds his fun, accuracy so is not try. bad either 50 points is so expensive for us so we have to be careful and i can only choose a couple of guys to do that on one way i can see i already have an advantage here is salvador pujols no one has offered him a scholarship besides us mm. so this is an opportunity for us to sneak in there and he's the number four center it in the doesn't look country. like he's so even in the top eight game so for us i think this is an easy send the house for him now i haven't scouted him i'm liking yet, so I'm recruiting just stuff. curiosity yeah, and gym, he even nice. is a gym that's 89 cool. impact nine See, sometimes when you have good players like that, who are like four stars, and you see other big teams not going after them or not giving them scholarships, sometimes they're four stars that are busts, and so you can kind of tell that, but luckily, I mean, in this instance, it was a gym. It's pretty cool. 92 strength pretty obvious he's a quality player now that the regular season has started a lot of schools have sent out scholarship offers to a ton of different players and this is when i really like to look around and see who slipped through the cracks you can consider this like the low lock cheese from ncaa 14 in a way caleb bloom we have the a plus <clears throat> proximity to home so i think it's worth gambling on that first step you really want to do is offer them a scholarship before you do anything else because these will have lasting benefits so the quicker you get that scholarship to them the better but after that you can see there's options here you can search so it, it said that he had 29 out of 35 scholarships. That means he had seven people signed.
So there's social media, DM the player, contact friends and family, and send the house. Later on, we'll talk about the pitches, and we'll also talk about the visits. <clears throat> the more hours you spend, the higher influence you see here on the right, where if you send the house, you're going to get those four ticks, whereas the lowest one at just searching social media, you're only going to get the one little tick. Try to find the player that you value the most and go all in on him. Because competing against these top programs, you're not going to get too many high profile players. In my testing, I've probably gotten two to three four stars in my year ones of rebuilds. And then the rest are filled with three and two stars. So that should show you a lot of these players will not be committing to Kennesaw State here. So I got to try and find the guys I care about the most and go all in on them. Now that we've reached week one, you see how many guys yeah, have already of... locked me out. This is how quickly it can change, especially with these higher. How does he have that few scholarships Profile already. players. I'm not in their top eight. So this is going to be a mass exodus on my Oh, because those That's players totally... move to the next level from open to top eight, and you get cut from that. Then you just can't recruit anymore. Interesting. Be fine. Because I was aggressive with Keenan Baker, we were able to slip into his top <clears throat> eight before crazy. it closed up. Now... Georgia, Tennessee, and South Carolina are making way more progress than I am, but I'm not giving up hope in this fight because we've snuck into this first round. We're also still in the race for Logan Wisnowski because I dropped 50 points his way too. We send the house at both of them, which is the only reason we're still holding on. But because I added these players that have no scholarship offers, this is a real chance for me to leap up here. I'm going to scout him just out of curiosity, and this player has 97 speed. That's Please. a huge interest for me. I love the deep threat players, so I think I want to be aggressive with him. Let's go straight up sit in the house for him and we're seeing that lasting effect on salvador pujol dang no one offered got, him a no scholarship one, uh, that's weird that no one offered, here, him offered him a scholarship sent the house and now we're a number one on his that's board cool. the number four center in the country we could be having a chance yeah getting good at looking through players and looking through the recruiting board every week is going to be something that differentiates people uh in dynasty mode online dynasty chance to get him that's because we were paying attention looking around and seeing what we could get now because i want to show you more than just recruiting here i want to show you what it's like to play on the road and show you <clears> some <throat> of these home field advantage effects because it's Jeez. freaking crazy now georgia is 20 overall points higher than us they're the number one ranked team in the country and their stadium pulse aka their toughest place to play ranking is top 10 hello and welcome to athens georgia the classic city and a classic day for college football the atmosphere Jeez. absolutely exhilarating that's cool Georgia Bulldog set the tee up i wish they had like the the season. young kid who had his himself painted white yelling on the sideline that'd be hilarious another team that was raised on the red clay the all the band members being out of step is frustrating as someone who was on the drum line Do like the graphics that pop up. Oh my gosh, Stadium Pulse toughness ranked number Jeez. one. Yeah, I knew this was going to be. You better difficult. know what plays you you're picking. Everyone's composure oh my is God. in the dumpster. We're as cold as we can get for playing on the awful. road in a tough environment. Strategy is probably to try and run the ball, which is going to be difficult against oh my elite God. linebackers. Just bringing the blitz the downhill Max. immediately. I don't even know what button my tight end is. If I try to hot route, it's not even possible for those players. I can that's only do the ones hilarious. I know. I think that's due to the mental abilities for my quarterback and his composure rating currently. We're gonna try to throw it low to the tight end and he drops it i would love to do an out route with the player on the left but that I'm not is gonna be able to so i'll do it with the player on the right but he, he's struggling to hear me I, I i think it went through he tapped his helmet like he did oh that's a horrible ball oh my not God. really the good arm strength that we we're hoping for Trout probably should have lobbed that over i forget they're like 63 rated quarterbacks this oh this team might not be who i want to well, use they're bad hopeless, but i'll try to play defense can we get around the corner just try and slow him down. Stopping We're not him? Stop him. Georgia yeah. has so many impact players. Yeah, but don't no break, baby. That. So all those stars means that's a high quality player they got. We only got like one on defense, which the minimum is one. <laughs> we are just simply outclassed in every area. And when you're adding on the home field advantage, Hold effects, him, baby. it gets even more terrifying. Lobbing it in there. Oh, oh he, he caught, caught it that. for a, sure touchdown. a touchdown. What? 
the home field advantage effects are way more intimidating in this game than they ever were in NCAA 14. Like, I mean, you still have the yeah, squiggly 14. lines and stuff, but it goes another level. Yeah, and this we know is the intense. Post route, but they're running three high, so it doesn't really help me too much. Can we do a slant route for Bo? He doesn't know. It's going to be a false start. We went too low and tried to do hot routes low in the play clock, which leads to a higher chance of false starts. Dude, that's try intense. Try to block the running back here. Oh, he, he heard me. He's right next to me. Good. I really want to hit the tight end if possible, but they're blitzing. Throw oh, nice pass. Dime, oh, way no. off the mark. Not Do not nice have pass. the accuracy for my quarterback. A good thought. Bad pass. Try and scramble, champ. Oh, my. I'm terrified. In open field with like six Georgia Bulldogs. That looked like face. a face mask oh, my a little gosh. bit. I'm, I keep trying to tell my circle button to run a slant, but he won't. Bro, hear just me. Think start picking better plays. Like what are we doing? That's how difficult it is to make it happen. Oh, no. Oh. I'll reach up there and try oh, and grab it, but the they ball, push bro. it out. But I think you get the Dang. idea here now. George is going to stomp us in the simulation, too. Yeah, At halftime, it's 45 to 10, 52, 60. Oh, my gosh. They're going to drop so many on us. So I think it's pretty obvious we have a long way to rebuild if we're getting beat Wowzers. by 60 points. I mean, George is the best team in the country, so that's a good measuring stick for how far you have to go. Eight oh touchdowns for Carson Beck. Oh, my goodness. But even just playing that game, doing a little bit, getting a couple first downs here and there, it got us to level two. I really want to go all in on these quarterbacks, so I'm going to keep spinning here. I'm going to put it in most influential so my recruiting actions have bigger impact. And I'm also going to go increase weekly recruiting <clears throat> hours for quarterbacks. Oh, Originally, I could only spend 50 hours on a specific recruit. If I go over to a different position like running back, he's still capped at the 50 because I do not have the so he because he got like 10 coach points for getting to level two so he was able to go in and buy two of the uh the upgrades for that quarterback one that's cool coach ability to bring that up to a higher level and your coaching abilities can stack with your coordinators offensive coordinator he's an elite recruiter this is going to be awesome because our that's recruiting helpful. actions have an even way bigger effect on qbs and it looks like my defensive coordinator has it too but they're primarily for defensive players mm. the coaching abilities can stack and have a bigger effect now i have a cap of 65 hours i can spend on him each week so i'm going to get to that level we're going to dm him and search his social media we're really trying to compete with those top dogs literally george is number one they're the dogs Jeez. keenan baker is now up to his top five schools and we're still in there barely at number four so now it opens up the ability to schedule a visit and honestly with the competition we have here i'd probably try to schedule this as soon as possible and the benefit for yeah, us getting is those visits in is really breaker. important so if you didn't know his deal breaker you would have to start doing pitches usually you would not want to hard i wonder if like only certain schools can see deal breakers or if everyone can see them for players that have deal breakers or if it's like random i don't know sell him right away but i already know proxy media to home is his deal breaker it's not shown right here but that's going to be one of the check marks on the interest here each player has three check marks that are hidden behind these question marks it is slowly revealed the more influence you gain on them you can sell a player on just one of the interests he cares about athletic facilities and i definitely know he cares about proximity to home so i'm going to try to gamble here on this one and hard sell him but i also want to try to schedule a visit this costs 40 later on bonuses slash negatives that could happen mm. in each game like if i schedule a game against fcs which is the panda yeah, you don't get UGF, as much of a... i'm getting no influence for the that's win that's so here cool that they did that for totally him. expected to win this game but if i lose this game it's going to be a massive death i wonder if the one in uh the midwest is like kalispell from her uh mr hurricane that would be sick as well downgrade for keenan baker if that would be so cool on my level there's going to be two ticks of influence but if i beat a team higher ranked than me like later on in the season here i'm getting three ticks of influence find a game that you'll win yes but if you're really trying to go for it i would definitely try to play a higher ranked team go in there try to win the game yourself and the way this liberty is going, would be a I'm good probably one probably going to schedule this for week nine against liberty yeah. when you do the visit you yeah. have to choose an activity for them to do you definitely want this to be one of the check marks ideally you want this to be their deal breaker though we already know his deal breaker is probably proximity to home and obviously it had the a plus grade so why would i go anything else right. i'm sending him on that we've spent i love that they've brought back the brought back this component i love that they have brought back this component from the 2006 like game this was such a good i, I just like this level of recruiting it is a little bit more in in depth than like doing the you know the, the just the number value but it it makes it more you get to know the players better and like you've you recognize them when they come into your team a lot more when this was the case. 40 of the 65 hours this week. So I'm going to try to contact friends and family on top of that to get to that maximum of 65 hours. Always trying to do that on the players that I want more than anyone else. 
All these actions will stay the same until you change something. So for this fullback, I have only have DMing him every week. Basically, it just means he's getting 10 hours a week, and that will stay the same unless I change something or like he locks me out. And because he's I have no competition for him right now, I'm fine with cool. spending just a little bit on him without going all in. I'm saving the all in for these quarterbacks, which is what I really want. Oh my god, being uber he's number one on the board. Position. That's cool. Obviously. Now, the fourth tier is only increased starting interest from QB, so that doesn't really help me this season. And I know my second priority is going to be on the offensive line, so I'm going to keep spinning here, and I want to get to tier two to have recruiting actions give a bonus to offensive I was line. curious where so you really got the... To get that four I was curious where you got the bonus to the recruiting stuff, but like, or the, the coach points, but I'm sure he has played games and leveled up and stuff that just were not on screen our center we were looking at earlier whoa it looks like we're in the lead for this five-star logan wishnowski though That's kentucky awesome. is falling down the list a little bit though they're not using their tier four pipeline to their advantage maybe I they're know. not spending enough points like we are maybe they don't have the coaching abilities we do this would be my first ever five star at a one-star program so i'd be hype about that obviously but of course keenan baker is the one i want with Dude, if he gets both speed. of those it, looks I like it's it doesn't look incredibly like difficult will. competition we did the hard sell on him last week so we get the five ticks of influence so he's definitely i think that's the playing well time that. kid and that's going to remain yeah. every single time we do oh, it no. and we guessed correctly all three of his ideal motivations were exactly what we pitched to him so he cares about athletic facilities That's championship awesome. contender proximity to home which now if a player does he's not, not going to have the championship that you have contender you try one, to but... sway him into to the ones you really look for but i don't use this too often and in my experience as long as you know one of the ideal pitches and you pitch that correctly you're going to be totally fine if you really want to maximize the pitch you do want to have all three motivations highlighted the only as a lower tier school he said that he doesn't do this I do this sometimes with sways, especially if I like everything is a D minus or whatever and or or D plus and, or a C and the one that you have that's an A plus just isn't one of their influence things. I try and sway that. I know it's expensive, but that's something that I have in the past done that was successful. The problem here is what we're pitching him, we have a D and a D minus, so that could probably be leaving some points on the table, but there's not really much I can do with that as a one-star program. And of course, our pipeline is only level one here, so it's not like we're getting a ton of bonuses from that either, whereas Georgia can take a nap with their five-star pipeline and get massive influence. So I'm fighting for my life for Keenan Baker, and Georgia could probably just get him in their sleep. A few moments later. No, Keenan baker reached his top three no. schools and we did not make the cut <laughs> this is devastating to me i was going all in on keenan but we He's obviously fast. saw those top programs the second they schedule those visits it's jover keenan baker it's you're jover. a legend man you would have been awesome to play with with generational now he's gonna have like to play that, against him dude tennessee's playing at kennesaw looks like... state i'll leave you on the board out of respect cool. though now logan wishnowski is my new option here this five-star qb even though he's down to his top three keenan is still scheduled for a visit against liberty so i don't want them to have a competitive visit you can see it right there so i'm gonna move him to sam houston state instead bro you can move visits i don't know that you used to be able to do that and if you were i'm dumb and should have known better but that's huge still the same risk to reward ratio out here and that's Logan huge cares about proximity to home as well so that's what i'm gonna do family visit when you come here yep keenan baker committed to georgia we knew this would be like an impossible oh, I thought battle Tennessee I mean, might get him. like they have the tier five that's pipeline cool. they've got the proximity to home the similar as us they're gonna win this battle 10 times out of 10 it's just if they paid <clears> attention <throat> and they did pay attention so i knew this going in that this was gonna be pretty difficult again i'll leave it yeah you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get every recruit you look after um but knowing how to maneuver through these menus and like actually recruit using the new systems is going to be uh really helpful i'm sure or just out of curiosity see what happens because i have had some players decommit before but i'll talk about that more later i'm sad to see keenan baker being a lost cause but we do get some recruiting points back so we can spend this elsewhere oh, that's true. That's nice. I'm gonna do the, the if you don't know this recruiting is perpetual so like it it's set it and forget it so you don't have to go in every week and do okay i want to do 40 points here 40 points here it remembers what you did last week and then uses it in subsequent weeks until you change it or or adjust it hard sell on him and hometown hero seems to highlight all three of his main interests so this is perfect for us definitely said that one thing see like for me if it were me i would try and sway playing time um if there were a pitch that did program that did proximity to home playing time and campus lifestyle, like something like that, I would try and find that and then push that super hard um, and try and sway it. But you know, it, obviously he does not do that, but, uh, but I, that's a good strategy that I had found previously.
Bro seems to highlight all three of his main interests. So this is perfect for us. Definitely send that. One thing I can do to get Logan Wisnowski even better. Ooh. Is going to have a complimentary visit by adding Salvador yeah. Pujols over Offensive right here. Offensive lineman. See complimentary visit. Schedule him for San Houston State. And then we're going to be locked in on that. In his deal breakers, oh. proximity at home as well. So, cool. yeah, definitely going to be adding that there. More upgrades for my head coach. Going to be adding it to always be recruiting for offensive line. So we get increased recruiting hours. I can also schedule a visit for this wide receiver, Dennis Mueller. So we're just going to have Mula. maximum complimentary yeah, visits. Yeah, I get the big time complimentary visits. That'll be cool. Also and a complimentary visit. Just nice. Just stacking all of these as much as I can. You can see these hard cells are working pretty well in Logan Wisnowski now. Getting the five ticks of influence. That's Whoa, really cool. And there we go. Yo, My he got the commit. Star at a one -star That's school, exciting. I like the little. It seems like a lot of schools ignored him. Like Kentucky. I like the little like graphic that comes down. That's a good feeling. Like every time you get one. He was the only one giving him That's a chance. That's cool. That's a lot better than just like seeing it on the board, which that was fun. Like looking down and being like, oh my God, is there yellow text telling me I, I got a signing? But this is, I like this uh, a lot better but we swooped in and threw way more points at him. Wow, first recruit for Kennesaw State, and this video is a five-star QB. Not bad. Oh, and we pair it with the center. Nice. And we also get the wide receiver. Yo, they got that wide receiver, too. In the same week, it's just kind of a snowball effect. A five-star. That's awesome. With the complimentary visits that got a five-star and two four-stars, that's awesome two four stars right there and this is why i'm telling you you can get blue chip prospects at these lower schools you That's just cool. have to have heavy investment early on and kind of yeah. know what you're looking for yeah now you'll notice we do not even know logan's development trait yet you'll see that when he comes on campus unless you have a specific coaching ability but you'll see it when they come to visit but oh Gibbs, did you shit yourself Overall, I don't care what development trait Logan has. He's going to be a great player right away, obviously. He's yeah, he's going to be good. And he wasn't a bust either. The number two QB in the country That's awesome. is coming to play. That's crazy. State. And we're pairing it with the number four center as well. Salvador so Pujols. I probably need to be looking at depth as well. So what yeah, I could do is sure. start adding players that already have interest in me. Three stars on the board. and then. Yeah, going back. Once you get those like prime recruits, you definitely want to like, oh God, I got to fill my board and like get people that are going to come and like be those depth players if the players that I have that are going to grow don't turn out as well as I thought they would. Eventually, I'll go down to two and one stars. I add out my depth later on. You want to find your <laughs> key playmakers early and then switch your focus. At least that's the way I like to do it. I'm not going to be shy here, though. I'm offering scholarships like they're hotcakes out here. That's hey, right, baby. we got that three-star cool. back too. We've been oh, in nice. an absolute roll this season. Oh, my goodness. We're just really having a great season. Dude, the four-star four recruiting. Safety, Caleb Bloom. The only school. I wonder if he just recruited really well or if it's just random or if he cheesed the system or what, but I'm hoping that I get this level of success in mind. Cool that offer was Tennessee and they did it way too late in the process. And what's nice about these guys, that's cool. I know his deal breaker is proximity to home and that's an A plus for him. So that's I awesome. know that's not going to change. He's right. not going to be a transfer risk for me. So it's a win-win really. Yeah, Caleb that's cool. Boom will be on this roster for the long haul. Well, we had a much better season than I thought we're going to be Damn, making the Conference USA Championship cool. here. We were eight and four in the regular season. Dude, the graphics just... look so good. Ah! stage where you can look to hire new staff you can see i only have a, a d prestige offensive coordinator and a c minus defensive coordinator i'll fire them both so, so we'll just oh uh, one was a recruiting guy and the other one was a uh tactician we'll hit the reset button on them because usually you can find some better talent well, we made the conference usa championship and we get to host it this is sick now That's i really wanted awesome. to show off one of the visits but it didn't seem like we had any players visiting in any big games and they committed before we needed to show the visit but you'll see the difference here. Like, That's cool. Now that we're at home, we're totally calm. It's not a packed stadium at all. And Kennesaw State has like the lowest maximum attendance you can possibly have in this game, which I think they max out at like 8,000 or something. I only play nice. in a couple moments here. We find ourselves down by 10. This is less than ideal, but I'll see if I can try and get us in a better position here. And what I'm going to do here is switch my coaching adjustments. There's two types of no huddles. You can go the normal no huddle, but what we're going to be doing here is the turbo. But this is just the fastest way to get down the field. So, if Dude, that's cool that it puts the projected college football playoff bracket up there. I really like the way that they've done this picture-in-picture picture or play-in-picture Um menu system this is cool if i'm doing levels concept it's going to be the same every time but i can hot route and stuff of course i'm just going to drop this short running back in stride look at this oh, space nice. for him 
He's quick. Way downfield, getting out of bounds. Cool. And now we're in turbo, so we're going to continue to run up the I'd field. be interested to know what his abilities are. Because every player has abilities. You just have different tiers of, of players. It's cool. Rain this is same. awesome. So the benefit of this is you want to be hiking this ball early on. And we're just going to take off with Bryson here, the QB. God, Look he at the spacing so for him. Defense was Gone. caught off their heels. Out of oh, can't again. get the touchdown. So if That's you're okay. running turbo, you're really going to have the defense not able to adjust quickly. Like, they were not even fully set there. I'm going to be able to roll out to the corner. Can we get around this defensive end? Yes, we can. Got touchdown. Three nice. play touchdown. touchdown drive. This game is over. They're up by way too much, but it's totally fine. I'll show you the trophy presentation <laughs> here anyways. Unlucky. I have Unlucky. seen, like, two or three different ones for the Conference USA specifically. Because I did a longer Kennesaw State rebuild in a different video that you'll see later on. But the fact that we made the Conference USA Championship in year one is pretty sick. Ooh, another four-star. Another guy who slipped through the cracks. It's a common theme. It's... Cool. So he got the three star running back. Is that? Oh no, he got the commitment from the corner. Oh yeah, he was looking it's at him pretty at the, much the, the beginning. Meta in this game. Oh, uh, Shador Sanders wins high. been trophy this year 3700 passing yards 41 touchdowns eight picks i imagine this game loves colorado and when we got to the bahamas oh, bowl, cool. that's kind of nice against arkansas state so now that we're in this bowl week i can look to hire my coordinators mm, before you make a decision though i would definitely take a look at their trees yeah now yeah. this guy is a scheme guru architect and a motor that'll be helpful so he doesn't have anything on the recruiting but drew howell like architect is a very valuable tree in my eyes it's one of the that'll be really helpful for like if he's going hard in recruiting having a guy to do this obviously if you have other people that have stuff in recruiting it helps compound and helps to like add more to what you already have um but you know but hedging weaknesses is also really important too the level two ones it's one of the hybrid trees too so you need to have motivator and tactician to have it now you're not able to investigate further what they have here you're gonna have to hire them to know specifically what they have under these trees but i know for a fact architect is really good scheme guru is very good as well and motivator would be nice because i've not gone down that path yet and i've had drew howell in a rebuild before so i know he's pretty dang good Jason Lewis is probably lower on the list, but he does have elite recruiter. That could be beneficial to us, but the F prestige is not too good. Chuck Sims seems to be mainly a motivator. You can see by the little like skill graph thing in the middle pointing heavily over there. I think overall what I'm going to value most here is probably going to be Drew Howell. Just being in the architect tree alone is something that I really value. So I'm going to try and offer him and see if he's interested. That's cool. It There's says no work in progress here, in though. the corner. He is being courted by Minnesota and Louisiana Tech. I'm going to go Dom Campanero because he's got way more motivator than we have currently. So I think that could be valuable to me. Just trying to be more well-rounded as a coaching staff. Now, also, you can look at the coaching carousel. Of course, if I wanted to move on to a new job, I do have offers right here. And That's cool. And be flexible as we continue on. I can be the defensive coordinator at Arkansas, offensive coordinator at Michigan State. These are not the only offers. More will pop up next week. That's All cool. job openings, and you can see which ones are Obviously, in a rebuild, you don't want to leave. Up. Like but... you said, I'm not getting much interest from Auburn, but one of those top candidates will be the new head coach over there. So it could be the Florida head coach. Does that mean that Hugh Freeze got fired? Oh, God. Could move over. It could be the Liberty coach or the Kentucky coach. And then you'll see next week that one. Oh, yeah. They don't have like the real coaches in the game. I forgot. Those positions will now be open. So if that does factor into my decision, I could wait to sign some place. But for this one, I want to stay at Kennesaw State. Now we're at the early national signing day. Most players have verbally committed at this point, but you can see we're still recruiting a lot of players. You can see I felt like we've had a pretty good recruiting and class this year, but we've only bottom, landed six bottom players half. at That's this crazy. point. So we're down at number 86. But honestly, for us, I think we're doing awesome so yeah i got I'm a lot of good really position players a lot of have good a high players profile recruiting class of course defense. you'd have to be landing a ton of players like texas right He's here is 27 28 four stars that's and crazy has landed seven five stars that's even nuts. landing one five star is a miracle down here for yeah. us so we'll just take i wonder i wonder what the like the displacement between the next five star recruit is like all the way up the board i would be fascinated to see that now there are or how far down you have to get like the lowest player the lowest team on here that has a five star that would be interesting oh cool it gives weighted points too on the on the side so you can like determine how how much each one's worth that's cool 
this point, and you can improve your ambitions later on you can go in these rebuilds. You can see our grades have changed throughout the season, though. Like, because we had a good year and won eight games, our championship it went from a went D. Up to a B. That sounds pretty high, but that's because of the 12-team college football playoff. And if we mm. won the Conference USA Championship, we would have had a much higher chance of sneaking in. It looks like App State is going to sneak in there because they probably won their Dude, conference championship. Dude, that's cool. Looking at the Sim stats this year, looks like Dylan Gabriel had... 4,000 passing yards, 44 touchdowns, 9 picks. And the rushing stats, it looks like, what, there's only a handful of 1,000-yard rushers. 13 touchdowns was the leading rushing touchdown leader. I had a 17-touchdown receiver, though, so a ton of 1,000-yard receivers. I guess more teams throw the ball in this game. Leading tackler had 95 tackles. Leading sack leader had 8 sacks. Most interceptions was 6. 8 deflections was the most. 4 forced fumbles. Only yeah, I saw comments from people that were concerned that there weren't quite as many... Uh thousand yard rushers because apparently last year there were 65 and there were what seven in this game I, I don't remember the exact number but like uh the the difference is like way higher but i'm sure the coaches have you can adjust your own uh sim like tendencies like previously you could like the 35 you know 65 um run to pass all that sort of stuff i'm sure those will adjust as as years go on only three block kicks the entire year one safety only six defensive touchdowns that seems low quite a few kick returns for a touchdown not too many punt returns for touchdowns and that's just me quickly scrolling through it you can look at the records national you can look at it at your conference level so you can see in conference usa case keenum has that Jeez. 19 000 passing yards which is also at the national level so like yeah good luck in conference usa to break that yeah, angelo that's williams that's cool to see the actual names here devin singletary do dig that though that's that's some good detail kennesaw that's state awesome. it looks like they're transferring over their fcs records i'm curious in team builder will we be able to start from zero for those because that'd be fun to like have a bunch of records be set in year one and yeah. then continue those over i am too curious though i gotta look at the bahamas bowl presentation in the rain for this one too we actually have fans let's go where is this is it actually in the so bahamas sick. well we got whooped in this game too we, we're probably not good enough to be here Right. <laughs> we tried hey you got there Let's though check which is out cool. the presentation oh, i didn't see any trophy for the bahamas bowl there maybe they don't really have a an obvious one or something not sure but that's what we got there looks like we signed both of those oh. coordinators that i was hoping to they, Stu Howell. they all have different uh schemes and dom campanero joined dude a north florida team scheme, though, now and I can north look carolina more at that's his cool actual architect abilities oh app state actually had a close one with ohio state but the top four is there ohio state what was the oh app state actually had Oh, had a wow. close that one is close. with Ohio State, but the top four is there. Ohio State, Clemson, Oregon, and USC. That's going to be so cool to see like a Conference USA team in the, in the college football playoff. How wild would it be if the first year the college football playoff goes to 12 teams that like a non-power five, like a group of five team wins the national championship? That would be nuts. So that's a pretty strong group. Now it's USC Clemson in the championship game. Clemson takes it all 48-42 in the national championship game. Looks like we had a pretty good season because now it moved us to one and a half stars for Kennesaw State Ooh. because we won eight games. And we can see cool. here on my my school update. Oh, the big risk of transfer stuff uh, because of playing style. And another player, I guess his defense is bad or something. I don't know. I doubt it is. I have quite a few players at a risk of transfer. And now we're at the players leaving stage. So they're pretty much gone. But I do have a persuasion chance to bring them back. So this Jordan Miles guy, I have a very low chance, but I'll, t I'll try to ask him anyway. Playing style for him is an F. That's probably due because we didn't get enough stats in that category for him. I'll try to persuade him, but that's, that's not good because he's a good player. <laughs> it's, yeah, I assume it's going to fail for all of them. For him, it seems like we got a D plus. Oh, we did get him back. That is success. Same thing for this guy. He wanted pro potential, Damn. and that's going to so fail. So his, his two left ends are leaving, which is but he might, he might be able to get somebody in the transfer portal, you know, that that will be able to come and maybe not have a playing time thing, but have like a, a different aspect there that we'll be able to recruit for. Transfer portal opens up. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are curious how this works. Now I can still recruit these high school players I've not fully committed yet. And now you see we have 600 hours. Ooh. That is for two reasons. We've become a better program, so we have more resources oh, available. Oh, that's true. And also, it's the off-season, so you're not scheduling games or anything. But now, Dude, we... that also means if you do badly in a season, you can lose influence and lose recruiting hours. Ooh. 
we look at the transfer portal we same thing we have a recommended tab and the thing with transfer portal is these players have their star rating adjusted so the rating is now directly tied to their overall so like mm. a four star is gonna be pretty dang good we're number three on this corner's board so i might as well take a chance he's only caring about play style not often you get four stars in the transfer portal you know especially at my level so i'll take what i can get i will say the transfer portal does move pretty quickly so you don't have time to like really cast a wide net you need to be selective right away if you want these players i'm sure people are curious why have i not looked at two and one stars yet so i'll take a look at a couple of them here there's only one five-star prospect in the transfer portal jaden ott he's Damn. from cal actually so he, he definitely wants to play for a good coach we need at least a few you brother prestige there we're not gonna get him now you i can... feel like had he won like his conference championship and uh the bowl game he might have he might have actually done that he did he didn't play the games though which is one thing like he he had some gameplay but he simmed it so we'll We'll, we'll see how that goes. Look at the transfers here. Junkies Hardaway. In not worry about one. scouting him. I know he's going to be a pretty good player at four star here. And we're trying to schedule this visit right away. We're already in his top three. Let's not mess around. Get him that early visit. We see his deal breaker is playing style. So let's just throw that right away. Knowing that right off the bat is going to be massive for us. We're just going to have him attend practice. Only about 11 players from the transfer portal that I'm potentially going for. I really want to scout these lower level ones so I can have a better idea of which one's the target. 93 strength. I think that guy's actually pretty solid, guy's strong, especially yeah. for a two star. I mean, his overall is probably eight, lower, but 325. That guy's huge. Scholarship. That's crazy. Ooh, workhorse downhill. Those are oh, he's from very good cool. abilities. Khalifa Key. Quite a bit That's a cool guy. name. Javius Bond. So we could pair this with the power. I like back. the names. Go These names are cool. On this guy too. Someone was in my uh, chat last night, and they were talking about like how they didn't like the names. I like these better than definitely the 2014 Ostrander and uh, Concepcion. All the same ones. I feel like utilizing the transfer portal could be big time. You know, noticing a lot of these transfers are not like busts and gyms, though. I think their their overalls are usually more set in stone. I'm always going to lob these guys a scholarship because I don't think it'll hurt. I don't think I've ever gone over the scholarship limit, so I don't see a negative to doing this. Workhorse, downhill, headfirst, balanced, armbar. Damn, are he's all got a lot of abilities. I love to see in power backs. Oh, but we're making big, big gains on this four-star corner. And these, like, final couple weeks, I also just start to load up the board with guys guys that are highly interested in my team like these tight ends have no offers at all so we might be able to sneak in and steal them right at that's the cool. end of the year he's a gym blocking one oh, so Mason, if that's his prospect list right oh i guess that's recommended so the prospect list is any players your recruiting board is the 35 that are on there that's that's cool like seeing people that he needs that are three star four star whatever but no offers he could right he could get that the year. all a, all he has to do is be the leading team at the end of the season, the t the kid will commit to you. You don't have to like push all over the board because they got rid of that. Um, they got rid of that like not bug, but just like feature from 2014. The gym blocking one, Vernon Vincent. You're gonna get some fat offers here at the end of the year. Another three star right guard coming Whoop. in. Another three star center. We got nice. a transfer portal running back. Oh, nice. but Hardaway. We did not end up getting him. He goes Damn. to South Carolina. Oh, and I just really barely. pushed to try and get that four star corner in the portal. Javis Bond looks like a very quick and good player. And now at National Signing Day, this is what you got. This is your recruiting class. Everyone hard commits somewhere. Now that we're fully through the season. All right, we jumped up all the way. Damn, 40th, 40th is not bad. Ranked class. Not a ton of players, though, which is, prospects which is tough. Like I told but... you, around 15 is my usual number. We've got one five-star. I like four, to get to like 20. Nine between 15 and 20. Nothing below that. So I probably could have gotten more depth if I added way more two and one stars to my board at the end. But I'm totally fine with like getting higher quality players here in year one. And then you fill out the depth as you go. But I just want to show you that it is possible to get five and four stars even at a one star school. You just have to be locked in and know what to do. Jaden Ott went to Oregon, it looks like. So that's a big swing hmm. for them. And now we're at position changes. So when we have some athletes, we can really switch them around. Oh, here. he didn't sign the way athletes. You do it is you that guy went somewhere here. else. We only went have to Georgia. one of them. His tendency is agile so i'm assuming he's an offensive lineman but it says he can also play defensive line so he That's has cool. 90 strength 78 speed which would be amazing dude a power rusher lineman. his run block cool is pretty too. low at 63 pass block is 65 tackling 84 finesse moves 79 oh, yeah. he's so definitely yes, a, defensive he is a guy. better defensive player and yeah. this will tell you he's going to be number one at the right yeah, end position speed, speed. and we only have two players on roster well yeah because two of your right ends left in the transfer portal they they ran away right there so and he's definitely needs some help
So we'll put him over there. So Logan is going to be our day one starter That's at quarterback. That's awesome. We By can't a look lot. At his card yet until after position That's changes. That's funny. But we know By he's a 78 a overall now, which is very high. Oh, well, we did end up getting Khalifa Keith. I know he had the playing time deal breaker, but he still comes here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's third third string running back. Wait, wait. need B minus have. But it's well below. That just means he'll be likely to transfer next year. And we also got Javius Bond, who is a better player at 79. So I'm glad we got him too. And Julius Otis is 60. But because one's an elusive back, one's a power back, you can almost use one on third downs and give him more playing time than you would anticipate. Um, and really like play for that. You can set in what's it called? Formation subs and stuff, uh, whatnot to like get that. 59 overall nice and now we actually have a fullback on roster Ooh, dennis moeller is pretty good 74 overall he's definitely going to be playing right away he's way more talented than most guys on this roster oh, how receiver. about these freshmen i added they're going to be playing the natural team player winning time oh those are good mentals dude deep threat 511 203 he's going to be a straight line speed <laughs> like wide receiver hopefully his jumping's good right away he's way more talented 97 than most speed. guys That's on this crazy. roster how about these no, this is before the last second they're kind of the forgettable at 66 they have a lot of young players though and the center i got is pretty solid 74 overall i can't wait to see what their development traits are we'll see that here in a moment jeremiah burgess is 71 overall so honestly a pretty good freshman and yeah. it seems like we needed a ton of help at that position you see i pretty much ignore the defensive side of the ball so if i continue this rebuild i would focus on that in the future tony francisco 75 overall he was the four star so that's big for us that he's a good player caleb bloom 73 no overall that's gonna be a nice though. addition as well but that's all the position changes i really want to do at this moment so not every player has season, we abilities, a massive like. boost in our head coach because we signed a recruiting class got all level 17 after the first year that's training crazy training results for players too it looks like some players did not upgrade in their overall and fast, other players did. Like. now i wish i could have seen what their overall was before they went up because otherwise i really have no idea we don't have any of our transfer portal players in this training results so they were not able to train with us, I suppose. The cutting stage is basically just encouraging players to transfer now. Now we have 92 players on the roster. Wow. We need to get down to 85. You can do this as simply as, like, I like to target players who are too low of an overall because they're not going to contribute yeah, anyways, any, especially if they're seniors. But you can't make freshmen that you just got in here to transfer. It is at this stage or where you anyone can have your under 60 for sure. Again. You can do it at the beginning of Dynasty as well, but I just didn't focus on it there. I'm going to leave them all the same here, though. But you have a lot of flexibility with that. But now we got a recruiting class in. I think this Jeez, is when the tactician that. really starts to get better. So I'm going to purchase this and show you what's in here. So you get direct ratings boost in this tree. You can kind of think about how the offensive and defensive oh, coordinator that's nice. used to work in NCAA 14. We get immediate boost to throw in the run, change of direction, throw under pressure, break sack, spin juke, ball carrier vision, short and medium accuracy. I don't remember what so type of quarterback his dude had. Valuable, and I want my quarterback to be great from the get-go, so I'm going to go straight to T. Short, medium here. accuracy. And I also want to have cool. a strong offensive line, so I'm going to spin all the way in the top in this here as well. I like that it's a hold. These are to... already going to have direct overall boost for our players. The so menu thing is like a hold to do. 78 overall, but with these tactician boosts, he's boosting up four overall points up to 82. That's and awesome. And this is stacking with my coordinators as well. So it's oh, just yeah, massive that's true. boost. But Wishnowski, he's got the star development tree. That's, that's awesome. awesome. And five star is just crazy to see at Kennesaw. So his like mobile dead eye means he's really accurate on the move. Pull down. I don't know what that is. I think that might be like play action or something like that. Um, off platform, I'm sure off balance throws are more accurate. Slide of hand, probably to do with play action or on the option, like the pull on that. Um, and then extender probably can extend plays really well. Fan favorite and road dog. That's awesome. 6'4", 207. He's a big boy state but we've done it and we can see his potential for his throw power is extremely Jeez, high so that nuts. is cool to see man i love this game because there's so many fun recruits interesting you can improve his iq and stuff that's awesome you get all the time and they're all so different like some players have different skill caps you'll see here his maximum it does feel like you're going to take a lot of time upgrading this i'm sure you can automate um doing the upgrades to players too though if you don't want to do that potential for accuracy is only nine out of the 10 ticks so it's still pretty high but he could have elite arm strength by the end of his career and his iq could be pretty high as well so logan wishnowski is going to be a household name here and he's not going to transfer awesome. out because that proximity to home is not going to change so we got ourselves the quarterback of the future in logan wishnowski that's cool and he's coming in with abilities right from the get-go he's just that talented off platform slide of hand extender pull and right, let's see pull down boost ball security when standing in pocket okay that's cool improved accuracy on the run that's what i thought cross body or back foot yeah 
boost for play action and trick plays. That's what I thought. And then, oh, improved break sack. Pull down mobile dead Ooh. eye. He should be a quality player. Yeah, now he's going to be change sick. his name if you want to. You could change his position, and you can make him a left or right-handed quarterback. Can't change his number, unfortunately. You can change his QB mm. style. You can edit his gear if you want to. And you can change his physique. So I, I wish I could change his number, but you can do the height and weight, arm size, that kind of thing. I wonder thing. why you can't, can't change, change numbers. The face, but that's because they have such unique, like, AI-driven faces in here. So almost every player is going to look different, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> see khalifa keith he's only impact what a cool his name. development trait oh but he has some pretty high potential on a lot of things except yeah. for his catching but quickness hands and power oh my goodness he could be a beast if you yeah, have he's gonna right be running really good get him improving what about javius bond he's got impact development play style his physicals aren't quite as good but i'm sure he'll be able to like upgrade those his spin move gets energy back takeoff is really good that that breakaway speed and the sidestep juke Jose, so that could change if we don't if we're not careful elusiveness could go up you could see these um, upgrade multiple things and they upgrade themselves you, you cannot actively upgrade it but it could reach maximums Wait. multiple things and they upgrade themselves you, oh, you cannot actively okay. upgrade it but it could reach maximum speed too great transfer see, I didn't for know us. That. if he improves his attributes a little that bit he that could question. be unlocking more physical ability so what do you how how do you I guess just by improving the other stuff, it unlocks this. Abilities as well, which would be awesome to see. Darren Hyde does have that star development trait. We, he has no deal breaker, so I don't think he's going to transfer out, at least right now. Doesn't have that super high potential, so that's something to weigh in your options, but he's very low at like IQ and route running right now, so he's a little bit of a liability. So 66 overall with the talent above him, you probably want to look to redshirt him. Impact for Julius Otis as well. Gotta love fullbacks, even though he did. Does he not, have a. want to look to redshirt him. Impact for Julius Otis as well. Gotta love fullbacks, even though he does oh, he's not have full high potential with how uh, these but the other guy doesn't have a deal so he's breaker. Not improve his overall uh, this guy very does, but the, the, the next guy he Unless talks you about had doesn't. Coaching abilities to unlock it even further. What about this Dennis? Wide receiver. He's got impact. He doesn't have oh. tremendous potential. Like he's already hit his quickness. He's not going to get any faster unless you have the coaching abilities to unlock those skill caps. But he can improve his hands One and route running and his power and IQ. Oh, well, I don't as remember well. who it was. Salvador has the impact dev trait as well. He's that center we got. Dang, that guy's good. Mental's OL rally probably like helps your team like pull it together if you're having a tough time. Dude, oh, that's wow. cool. He has significantly limited pushes into the second level. So he's going to hit his overall cap quickly. He'll still be a good player. He's already a high overall right from the get go 74, but with the coaching bonuses, it's up to 78. So you can see how strong the tactician one that's is. Cool. So if you're trying to win that right away, you crazy. might want to look to do that. It's always fun to see what players end up having because you really don't know what their skill caps are until you look at it or their development trait unless you have a specific ability. Now, I'm going to go back to my custom schedules and do the FCS Southeast Pandas because I <laughs> got to play awesome. against my own team. I want to get Wishnowski awesome. on the field. I want to see him in action. Wow, that's our awesome. overall jumped to 82. That Dang, up from a jump. 73? Probably due to Wishnowski Holy cow. and all the quality freshmen we just got in there as well as the transfer for players. That's game changing. That's crazy. We'll see the Pandas. <laughs> see the Pandas. Logan Wishnowski, first five-star in team history. What? We're going to bomb it deep on the first one. He takes a hit. We got Mueller Holy downfield. Trick play. First play from scrimmage is a touchdown. First ever play. That's hilarious. That is hype. That's going to be a great connection. That's those awesome. Two. Beautiful ball. He's Dennis Muller, I think, is that, that quick program. Uh, and that's why I think I love this game so much already. There's been such fun recruits. They're always so unique. Every that's time awesome. I get a player like this, I just want to play it a, a zillion years into the future. But yeah, obviously, I can't same. do it in this video. Can he scramble around, too? And get out. That thing, Logan. Big man. Ooh. Oh, Javius Bond in space. Let him cut around, guys. Ooh. Spin move. Oh, he's got the juice for sure. That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that up. Another touchdown to his favorite That's target. Awesome. Freshman to freshman. These new guys are good. Oh, my oh, God. So wide open. open. Oh, my Lord. Deep. Yeah, this FCS Burr. school does not know how to play good coverage. It's going to be a third touchdown for Logan. We're fireworks already. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to say square. Oh, what a dot. What a dot. Oh, my legend. Lord. Four touchdowns. Ooh, throw on the run, and that's still money. This makes me want to just play through it for like 10 years down the road. I know, like, that's crazy. I, I already know those that connection would be incredible. And be a fun <laughs> oh, no, Panda home. hurt. Oh, my right, Lord. That pass, and they just can't keep Jeez. up with us now. Fifth touchdown. A lot of space to run for Dude. Logan. Keep oh, he could have cut in. Try and stiff arm him. I, oh, no, interception, interception brother. That's not good. 
Well, I've thrown three picks because I keep just it's hurling closer into the than end I zone, thought. So don't judge me. I'm not known for my reads, but with a five-star quarterback, you're able to make some big plays. <laughs> it's the most volatile. Oh my ever. god. Hey, touchdown, Khalifa. That was, yeah, was just kneel the power it down back. and take our victory. You see it automatically goes down when it's pretty much over. Cool. Now she's Big win. Be oh, yeah, celebrate beating the FCS game school. goes to the receiver because I threw like Damn. four picks with Wishnowski off 176 yards. You don't need to know that, all right? It's just fun here, okay? Wishnowski in his debut, 382 passing five yards. Five touchdowns, four interceptions. Five touchdowns, four, touchdowns, four, four yards. interceptions. That's just the Drewski effect. I also wanted to quickly mention you can get players that are decommitted from other schools to commit to your school. I had this one player when I was first testing out. I didn't have commentary for it, but it was a player named Devon Kalu. I had the lead on him for a while, but then Georgia out of nowhere swooped in and snatched him. He was a four-star wide receiver, so of course they were going to come in That's and challenge cool. at some point. Then huh. I go to signing day, and I see that he is decommitted from Georgia. So hmm. I immediately jump back on the train, fire as many points as I can in the offseason, and we ended up landing him. So it was just a cool That's really story cool. there. Devon Kalu, able to get him committed, and guess what I did with him? His first play on campus. Of course, that guy scores a touchdown too. I've seen so many cool things in this game so far, and I can't wait to just invest so hmm. many hours into it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video of kind of just like looking around the mode and seeing different things that happen anyways i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching you're all legends in my book and as for me i am drew morris big old drewski not the expert and i'll see all you guys in my next video peace so like obviously this game looks incredible not the expert big old drewski great content creator um excited to uh kind of see what what we can do with this game that was a great video um thank y'all for checking it out um i think dynasty looks i definitely think they have some bugs that they need to work out in regards to like uh some of the like the stats that come in like from sim stuff so like the all the other teams that are playing like some of those stats are kind of weird um and just kind of level out maybe like progression and leveling and stuff like that but this game looks awesome um i'm excited to jump into the game on tuesday next week on the 15th apparently you get it early even earlier um but uh but yeah great video from uh from drew and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary on it um and look forward to playing your own rebuild dynasties again thank y'all so much if you did enjoy the content leave a like down below if you want to see more in the future subscribe to the channel and if you're having trouble picking your own dynasty team uh check out this video here uh that just if you are having trouble picking your own dynasty team check out how to pick a dynasty if you are having trouble picking your own dynasty team check out this video here it's a great tool to help figure out which one if you are having trouble picking your own dynasty team, check out this video here. Uh, you can look. If you are having trouble picking your own dynasty team, check out this video here. It'll help you pick what type of dynasty you can use in the new game, College Football 25. I've been Alfred Avenue. Thank y'all so much. See ya.